unhappy with his side's performance in their 3-0 loss to Sutton. Gateshead manager Neil Aspin has made two changes. James Bolton and George Smith in for Gus Mafuta and Mitch Brundle. Paddy McLaughlin, a former Grimsby player, met Lincoln in three derby matches. He's on the losing side twice. Jordan Burrow comes up against one of his former clubs, having spent the season before last with Lincoln, scoring ten National League goals. Early intent here from Gateshead with McLaughlin, former Grimsby player. It's nicely done as well, and a good ball into the area, but it's Arnold who will come away with it for Lincoln. A long throw in here from Sean Long. Burrow trying to get to it, and the shot comes in, and needed saving as well by Dan Hanford. It was Whitehouse who got that on target. I think Hanford saw it very, very late. He goes through a body of players. No crosses are going to come into the box. Early on from there. Into the Gateshead box from Lincoln. Back in the side today, Whitehouse. And the Sheffield United youngster. Plenty forward here for the Imps. It's just over the head of Reed. A handball by George Smith, but they allowed to go on. Burrow. Now this looks promising here. The gate said it's Luke Hannant. He's got Wes York in there as well. On well, the referee's given a penalty here, right on the edge of the area. The challenge on Hannant. Sean sure Mago with the challenge. He's already on a yellow card. A get caught on the counter attack. Certain penalty, you can't have any complaints about that. It's a great attacking run from Hannon. Cuts inside on his left foot. This is a clearer penalty you'll see this season. It's initially, five fielders come forward to take this, but as Adam Virgo says, Raggett, who gave away the penalty, was on a yellow card from very early on in the game. And the man who's going to take this is the former Northern Ireland under-21 international Paddy McLaughlin. He is a former Grimsby player up against Paul Farman here. Here comes McLaughlin. And in it goes. Sent Farman the wrong way. It's meant to be Lincoln's day, but it's Gateshead who've taken the lead here. It's a cool penalty from McLaughlin. And you're thinking of the first half an hour of play, Adam. I think they deserve it. It's a coolly taken penalty. Paul Farman decides to go early. You see so many times with the left footer, they whip it into the other corner. And now hopefully, maybe the goal will kick Lincoln into gear a bit. The Forest Green have played one more away game than the Imps, Dagenham and Redbridge two. They are right up there. And they find a turnaround here. Reed with the header, Arnold with the shot. Great save. That really is a top class stop by Dan Hanford. Well, what a save this is. And what makes it a brilliant save is Nathan Arnold decides to hit it across him, so Hanford's going one way. When you stick out an arm, you've got to be strong with it. Great chance there for Lincoln, but give credit to the goalkeeper. That's an unbelievable save. Brought back into the side just recently, Dan Hanford, after an injury to James Montgomery. That really was a wonderful stop. And the former Carlisle Matt. What can Lincoln do from the corner, though? They've got plenty forward. Highfield got his head to it, and George Smith did. Long with the throw in here. And there's the half-time whistle. It's the one goal then separating the sides at the break, scored against Lincoln by a former Grimsby player in Paddy McLaughlin. Lincoln must come from behind. McLaughlin, this goal still separates the sides. George Smith finds McLaughlin again here. Cross far too deep. It will be kept in here by James Bolton. And now Wes York. Get it in, get it in. Bolton trying to get it into the box here. Has to go on the outside of Habergam, who recovered well. Well, they will get a lot of joy now. Gateshead down the flanks. So the two narrow midfielders and Janelli, Reed, and Marriott just really playing high up wide and. Nathan Arnold in off the line as well. 
So Tranmere leading against Geisley. That's the effect that it's had on the table. Just two points in it as it stands, but Tranmere have played a game more than Lincoln. But it would make it that little bit more nervy again, wouldn't it? Well, certainly the record at Central Bank has been absolutely superb this season, and you still feel that we will get the job done. Badly over here. Kept in though by Liam Hogan. A tangle with Reed. Referee right on top of that situation. I really hope I'm not seeing what I saw on my first reaction there from Matt Reed. It's himself and Hogan, he gets there first. really poor I'm sorry you see the amount of contacts on the he gave Joey Barton a lot of criticism when he felt that he got elbowed but it's gone down way too easily there for my liking and trying to get Hogan sent off it's a yellow card for the Gateshead captain oh it went from Farmer Reed gets the free kick one of the more obvious calls of the day for the referee, five field the offender. Yeah, one of the easiest decisions for Peter right there. It's a poor challenge from Fyfield, you know he's not going to win it. Just gives an opportunity for Joseph Habergan to whiff a quality ball in. Which we know he's very capable of doing. Billy not. Habergan moves away, and not will take it here. For Lincoln City, as we move towards the final 15 minutes, Nathan Arnold stood in an offside position. And then moves back as the rest move in, and it goes from not. Oh, it was racket forward from the back. I think it was on target, but rather straight at the keeper. Well, you know, he can find the back of the net from set plays. It's a great leap from him. That's what you want. Beat that first man, just give yourself an opportunity. He rises early above Hogan. Bit of pressure here, though, from the Imps. Marriott and Reed waiting inside the area. And it went towards Raggett. And they've still managed to keep it going. And just off target, the goalkeeper didn't even move. The shot by Raggett. Oh, so unlucky there from Sean Raggett. Circle the 18-yard box brilliantly. One throw that they always tend to do. Oh, one on the end there. Just turns and the keeper's beaten. So unfortunately for him, it just goes agonisingly past the post. Be getting the feeling on that Lincoln bench that it's just going to be one of those days. Still got time though, and as you just mentioned, they have that reputation for late goals, Lincoln City. Borough being watched closely. Chance to cross for Hammond. Oh, Borough's gone down there, challenged by Woodyard. Oh, and it's just wide. Certainly theatrical from Jordan Burrow. That's nice poor from him again. Ball teasing across the goal there. Ginelli, that's a lovely ball. Long with a chance to cross. Appeals for handball. Really loud appeals. Penalty given. A penalty to Lincoln City with a minute and a half of normal time remaining. Fifield it was who handled inside the box. Oh, it's a great decision from the linesman. It's a clear penalty, he sticks his left arm out. You cannot have any complaints with that whatsoever. Actually quite a poor ball from Long, but doesn't matter. It's hit the arm and... Oh, an end to the game we could have here, Adam. It's Matt Reed who will take it. He's only scored once in his last 12 league appearances, but what an opportunity here for Lincoln. Up against Stan Hanford. It's Matt Reed for Lincoln. <laughs> Equaliser. Matt Reed's 15th league goal of the season. And Lincoln City, a side who just never know when they're beaten. Yet again, they've got a late, late goal. Well, you just do not save those penalties. 
Dan Hanford goes the right way, he goes early. But the penalty was that good in the top corner from Matt Reed. They haven't been at it today. But we said time and time again, you find a way of getting something out of the game. Could be a big five minutes now. Now can the Imps win it? But even with this 1-1 scoreline, even with that Matt Reed equaliser, of course, Tranmere aren't going to make two points upon them unless there's a late finish. There is! Amazing from Danny Cowley's Lincoln. It is written in the stars. It's Nathan Arnold. Another late, late Lincoln City show. What a story, what a team, what a turnaround. Well, this is what all great sides do, that go on and win league titles. You never, ever give up. I said if you have that one chance, you take it. And again, you'll be looking at Matt Reed to win that flick on. He just runs off Hogan, but that is a quality finish from Nathan Arnold. He hasn't been at his best today, but that's why Dan Cowley kept him on, because he knows he's got that bit of quality to give his side the lead. A player signed with the help of many raised by the supporters last summer. A player looking for his third National League promotion in four seasons with three different clubs. He knows how to get up, and he scored a big goal there. Now, there were four minutes of added time. We're into the sixth here. Breathless stuff. It's great watch, isn't it? Really, really is. And there's the full-time whistle. Yet another three points for Lincoln. Six league wins in a row for Danny Cowley's side. Their best run since 1992, but it needed a late, late turnaround to do it. It would seem at the moment that the title is still going to have to wait. Tranmere winning at Geisley 2-1 with surely only seconds remaining there.